Hey there. Good morning. So, <clears throat> as you know from my uh, my last post, I guess this month has been a little bit crazy. I've just been sick, and since then, I got better and got sick again because evidently rebound COVID is a thing. So, I feel like I kind of lost the entire month of September. Um, but weirdly, I was working on a commission project for a prop shop, and I was working on it from home, and so I basically had to work while I was sick through the majority of the sickness, which is less than ideal. And, uh, but anyway, I'm better now, though it might not sound like it from my voice, but I promise I'm getting better. And, uh, and you can probably tell that what you're looking at here is the demolded chest from, uh, from the big, uh, commission piece. And, uh, so that is currently the, the big excitement is I feel like I've been working on it forever, or at least that I finished the actual sculpts forever ago. And then they just sat there because Dragon Con and a million other things. But, um, but so <clears throat> I got all the clay out of these guys. And, um, and actually the reason that these ones are specifically demolded is because, uh, these, uh, well, not the hands, but the, the heads and the chest are the ones that I use the Chavant hard for, and I needed that clay for that project that I wish I could talk about, but it's NDA, the, the thing I worked on when I was sick. Um, I'll get to tell you all about it, hopefully very soon. But, um, but yeah, so these are now ready to be laid up and in there, in the legs, that's still all of the Chavant medium. Um, and uh, yeah, so hopefully soon I'll get a minute to start the process of, of actually making the castings for these. And I've got all the stuff right here. Um, the, basically the first layer that I'm gonna do is gonna be the uh, epoxy coat. And I got the gray epoxy coat and I got my Uvo black. Uh, so I should be able to tint this so that it'll be very, very, very black, um, which is great. That's exactly what I'm looking for because that would have been my base coat anyway. Um, and then I'm going to back it with freeform sculpt. I normally would have used freeform air, but when I went to Reynolds, they were, they were out of it. So I'm using sculpt instead, which evidently is basically the exact same thing, except you get like a little bit longer work time. Um, which I don't need, but I also don't care because um, I'm not in any big rush for it to kick super quickly. So, um, so yeah, and while I'm in the process of doing that, I'm going to insert, um, uh, I guess, eye, eye screws. What do you call those? The, um, it's like a screw, but then at the top, instead of having a screw head, it's got like a tiny little, tiny little circle. But anyway... I'm going to put that in and then, um, and then I'll wire and it'll be, you know, concave and then I'll wire across, um, hanger wire and that should make it so that when you hang it on the wall, it's, it's perfectly flush. Um, yeah. And, um, I'll probably do a slightly different thing for the hands just because they're so small. Um, and I don't know if that'll be a good enough mixture of weight um, and size to create the tension that I need to really hold it flush against the wall. So I might use a different type of mounting system for, for that. But um, yeah, but then I'll, you know, even though I'm casting it in black, I'll, um, I'll prime it black again. And then, um, and then I'll do the dry, dry brushing stuff and... Um, yeah, and hopefully that'll be great. And you know, if the dry brushing isn't working great as um, as Dan and I talked about in the comments of a post a while back, I'll try doing some sp sponge techniques to to give a dry brushy look. Um, but I'll certainly keep you <clears throat> uh, updated on all that as it as it happens. And um, yeah, thanks for bearing with me while I feel like death and then crawl back from it. Um, all right. I hope that you're all doing great out there. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.